Everybody thought this could be the year the Clemson Tigers went into Chapel Hill and snapped the streak at 56 games, but North Carolina had something to say about that tonight. Coach Roy Williams did not comment on it post game, or the coaches even talk about it a lot during the week, but the North Carolina players knew exactly what was at stake in talking with them after the game and were determined they were not going to be the first crowd to ever lose to Clemson here in Chapel Hill. North Carolina intensity was very high early in the ball game on defense and offensive execution were the story of the game as Clemson got off to a quick start but North Carolina turned it up and pulled away and the game was never in doubt as at halftime your halftime score was North Carolina 37 Clemson 21 and Clemson never did get any closer the lead was over 30 at times there though but again excellent performance tonight for the Tar Heels the Tar Heels were led in scoring tonight by James Michael McAdoo with 22 points, a big second half for Marcus Page as he chipped in 15, 11 for Kennedy Meeks, the big freshman out of Charlotte, and also 12 for Leslie McDonald, senior player, and uh, again, outstanding performance. The Clemson Tigers struggled on offense as they had droughts and at one time missed 14 shots in a row. Clemson tonight actually shot 23% and from the floor in the first half and ended up on the game shooting 18 out of 53 for 34%. Just could not get anything going on offense tonight. Leading scorer for the Tigers was K.J. McDaniels with 13 points. Uh, did not get a whole lot of help. He did get 12 points from the one of the big men inside, Landry Nico, and also 12 points tonight from Adonis Fowler. But Clemson just, when they needed the points, could not get them. Again, attribute that to great defense by the Tar Heels and, again, great offensive execution on Clemson's part. Coach Brad Burnell said it had not been a good week this week for the Tigers, but said basically in the ACC you're going to have stretches like that. Clemson went to Pittsburgh and went to North Carolina this week, and they're in the middle of a, a stretch of five out of six games on the road. So he said they've just got to kind of circle the wagons and try to figure out how to be competitive to they can get through this stretch, the toughest stretch they're going to go through in their season right now. This is a game that North Carolina looks to build on right now. The Tar Heels got off to a slow start, actually came into the game tonight with a 1-4 and four record in conference play in 11-7, but now they have two wins in the ACC, and again if they could play with this kind of consistency, they could be a factor for us all said and done in the ACC race. Again, North Carolina did look good tonight uh, on their home court. Clemson falls to 0 and 57 in the series here at Chapel Hill, though. So not a good story tonight reporting from the Tar Heel State for Clemson. Clemson will have to wait again. And again, Leslie McDonald, senior player on the North Carolina team, had a big smile on his face and said in his five years here, he was able to keep the string alive. Now it's up to the younger players as they continue to try to keep the streak of Clemson never coming to North Carolina alive, though. The Tigers will have to rebound and bounce back in the coming games though. So we have a lot of spectators in the background who are making their TV debuts tonight with a lot of the young kids though. But we're reporting from the Dean Dome. I'm Coach Dick Cox. This report has been brought to you by our sponsors from the Beacon Drive-In, from Larry's Trophies, from Concoction Ministries, and the Westside Club. They make all of our trips, all of our broadcasts possible. Uh, we'll be back in probably several weeks now that we've got the week off this coming week from any college or pro games, but look for our next report coming up the week after that. I think Georgia Tech comes to Clemson will be our next live report. I'm the coach Dick Cox reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting.